Okay, we're going to blow it in podcast. We have Susanna Rodriguez, who's from episode 99, and I'm mentioning Brett Hernst because he's going to be at the Hobart Art Theater. Uh, we talked about the KKK for a second. Winnie the Pooh has a movie where he's going to kill everybody, uh, but the evil Winnie's not going to be at the Hobart Art Theater with Brett Hernst. Uh, we talked about, what else did we talk about, Justin? 9 11? Oh, she was a college hall monitor. Oh, we talked about bad, yeah. going to concerts and basically like a bad date type of thing. We didn't get into that one bad date, though, no, with the didn't. guy who wanted to move in with you the oh, first yeah, date. Oh, that's right. We'll do this in a few. Yeah, he wanted to move in like that night. He's like, you think I mean, we should move in night, together? But soon after. But he brought it up that <laughs> yeah, night, didn't he? he, he well, brought no, up it was a couple day. dates in, but yeah, he, few, he was like, what about us? Everybody's moving what if, in together. I'm, what about us? Uh, what about you get a job? <laughs> Hippie. Okay. Love about that. Okay, welcome to the Loading Podcast. I'm your host, Giovanni Diaz. Today, we, we're here with Justin, our producer. Is it Glyph? Are we going with Glyph Studios? It's Common Glyph. Common Glyph, 911 Studios. Not the, I think I added a part to that that doesn't exist. And we have Susanna Rodriguez is back hey, on the podcast. Hey, I'm said, back. She was on episode 99. Yes. She wanted to be episode 199. I did. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> because we have a show coming up, so we, wanted yeah. to, we got you in early. We wanted to scoot you in to get you going yeah, for the show. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm at Hobart Art Theater. I'm working... Really well with them. We got four shows a year of the Chicago Land Theater That's an comedy Indiana, show. Indiana. Yes, Hobart Art Theater in Hobart, Indiana. Indiana's the home of the, not the home of the. Actually, KKK. it's Hobart, right? Is Indiana the home of the Something KKK? Oh God, I hope not. Is it not? I don't know. Maybe look, just Google it on this. I always thought now. KKK was in the South, right? Oh, That's you're right. I'm completely. It, it was that be. one guy. Yeah. But at one point, Indiana had like. The, some of the biggest uh, KKK some kind of network. Members. They had like the biggest KKK, right. whatever. But that was like years ago. It's changed. Yeah. Now you have the Pacers. Um, well. So you have the the theater. You're yeah. Back, you're back in the podcast. Uh, I'm yeah. drinking. You're not. I'm getting Brett Ernst on April 8th. And I have a good Brett Ernst story. Brett Ernst. Heard. I Brett saw Ernst him. You know Brett Cobra Ernst? Kai. He's in Cobra Kai. Have you seen Cobra Kai? I haven't seen it. I know my stepson's watched the show. There's It's, it's karate. Oh, it's... Ralph, Ma- is Ralph Machio on? Machio? Yeah, Machio, Ma- Machio. Machio. It's yeah. continued when they're adults, right? Yeah, it's like Karate Kid, and then now it's Cobra Kai. Yeah. Are they? Is Cobra Kai still bad? Are they good now? Or what do you mean? Oh, like I've, good never, I've never seen every episode. Like, well, remember the they were the bad guys in the beginning. Oh, okay. The white yeah, dude. I, they do bring villains in. But is sure. Cobra Kai the villains? Um, <laughs> I watched first and second season, so now I'm like, uh, yeah, I think Cobra, Cobra Kai is like a, a gem where they train, and I want to say it's the villain. They're yeah. probably the bad guy, right? It's, it's the Italians, white guy, yeah. yeah. Well, Ralph Macchio is white, but you know what? Like the blonde guy, I should say. Yeah, what does Ken call white uh, Italians, gay Mexicans, right? <laughs> Uh, Ken Flores. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I laughed at that. That <laughs> Who's was been so at your shows. funny. He's yes. been on the podcast a few and times. And I related to that clip. I was like, yeah, I, I do have part. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, the second part of the joke. What was the second part of the joke? I was like, that's so true. I just swiped up. Oh, that point. man. Uh, I it saw was a really work, good so I line. And I was off. like, I relate to that. I might be Italian. And then I, I like a lot of things Italian. Other than like men, Italian men. men. <laughs> yeah, Italian men. Have you dated an Italian guy? Uh, no, actually, no. I've been attracted to Italian guys, but they've never asked me out. But I did it a Greek guy. A Greek? Yeah. And he wanted to, like, right away, right? And I was still in church, and I had skirts on. And, and then he, that was kind of cool with him, because he was like, oh, like, what can I get you to do? You're a Christian. If, if you don't listen to the, fir- if you don't listen <laughs> to the first crazy. episode, uh, Susanna went to, oh, fuck. What's it? IB, I- a- FB not a- church. FBI. <laughs> No. <laughs> yes, I went to the FBI Academy. International Baptist agent. Federer. No, it's it? Independent Fundamental Baptist, and it was IF. Yeah. B. IFB. Okay. Yes. It was like, it was pretty strict. Yes, really strict. It was strict. What do you mean, pretty strict? It was. Yeah. It was strict. I mean, when I tell people their mouth drops, you know, like it was just not the ordinary mm-hmm. lifestyle. Justin, you ever been to a movie before, or a concert? They couldn't. They couldn't go to movies. Yeah. They couldn't go to concerts. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, could I couldn't dance. I couldn't go to the beach. Footloose. I couldn't go. Remember, did you, you see Footloose? Swimming pool. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah. yeah, it had. Uh, I saw a play. At one of my friends at Second City was at foot, in a foot, Footloose play, and I went and saw that too. But anyway, yeah, the they town were, that couldn't dance. Yeah, and made it illegal to dance, and yeah. you guys, it was illegal for you guys to dance. Yeah, we couldn't code. do any of that. And I remember my dad had a Rico Tovar um, album, and it was kind of stashed away where like nobody could see it. Because you couldn't <laughs> listen to music, right? Because we couldn't listen to any secular music. But yeah, um, I found music. it one day, and then I'm like, play it. And he played it, and I danced to it, and he laughed. But mom, my mom wasn't around, okay. you know, because like I think he, he kind of went along with everything. But he, you know, inside he wanted it. He was he was As a good dancer back in the day. Do to not be bothered, so they can yeah, they kind of just go with whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever's happening. My mom definitely, you know. She was a strong personality, but like, and my dad was really quiet and did mild man. Did I ask you last so. time how your mom got recruited? Not recruited, or how she yeah, got it? Did she I get think, recruited? Um, yeah, you know what? We lived in East Chicago in a second floor apartment, DC. really small. And somebody came knocking on the door, inviting us to church. And weirdly enough, my mom was very overprotective, but for some reason, my brothers went to church on their own, I want to say, on the bus, which I was very surprised about that because my mom she was just very sent overprotective. To church? I think so. I'm trying to remember. I know that she was pregnant with me when it started. And then I think that they went. And then when I was, you know, how you stay home for six months. So when I was six months, that's when I started being in the church nursery. So I started Stay home six for six months. months. Yeah, you know how like is it like Guarantela? Is that forty or is that forty days? Like Guarantela, where you don't take your baby out at all because of germs and whatever. What? I never heard of this. Yeah, I thought every Mexican family did that. Hell no. I mean, I think my mom like Ugh. my mom was like when the baby's born, she kept bringing up uh, the shower or no or bathing the baby. Like, oh, you want me to go and bathe him? And I'm like. What do you, I thought it was a tradition, like uh-huh. to bathe the baby, and then I uh-huh. found out I was like, no, she was like, oh, you know, Jess is gonna be probably out of it, so I can go bathe him if you want. That's what she meant. I thought it was like a oh. thing, like a Mexican thing. Yeah. No, I want like well. Well, okay. Did your Jessica, baby leave the house though? Like no, when they were a little baby. But Jessica yeah. didn't want him to leave. Like, okay. He yeah. might have. I remember, but she was like, uh, she was very, she's very overprotective. Yeah, my mom I'm not, I'm was not. like that. Like, I'm like Let's the take him first out. six months, we did not leave the home. Because oh, yeah. of germs yeah. and people and whatever. He was out, but maybe in a I week. I think it was more like, you know how, how it is, or like, you know, you're going to catch a cold, like don't take a shower and go outside right away. Like all those rules. I don't know if you had those rules. Uh, I don't. I'd be problem no. I mean, my mom's like, well, after you take a shower, don't go outside because yeah. you'll die or something like that. <laughs> and I think it's true. I mean, uh, to this day, I do think like if, you know, because your pores are open I want, and then you go outside to the cold. Is that what that is? Uh, there's probably science behind it, right? Yeah, because like you take a shower, right? Your pores, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know if there's science, but I'm making it up. But there's like if pore it's hot, opening. If it's hot. And, I mean, it's summertime, summertime, you're fine, but it's winter. I don't shower a lot. It's like you shower mm-hmm. and then you go out. You don't shower a lot. Like, wait, how many times? A few times a week, I guess. I shower today. You don't shower every day? No. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Uh, I think. Wow. No, okay. I don't. I'm not a, sometimes I wash Maybe up. Maybe you're not Adam a big Carolla. sweater. Uh, like a sweater or er Is that I, a word? Well, sometimes I regret it. I'm like, I should have showered. I'm at work. It's too late. <laughs> and it's like, I felt clean. And I was like, I wasn't. This is a mistake. You know Where's the I mean? cologne in my car? I can douse myself. I have this much cologne left. <laughs> uh, but do, oh, I, I'm wow. like, my skin gets dry. I don't know. Oh, I don't like you know sh- what? I do have a friend that said that to me that every other day she showers because of her skin. Because she says my skin would literally fall off. It gets dry. I it every day. I can't. I can't do it. Yeah. And then I don't want to. But yeah, like, but anyway, so with six months, we were not in the house. We were in the apartment. Like, so I didn't, you know, that's why I didn't start church till I was six months old. If not, I would have started earlier. Because you <laughs> leave, right? Hey, so at the IFB church, yeah. did you go to the Spanish version or the Yeah, I went to the Spanish. USA they had a Spanish version. department. Uh-huh. Yeah, they have a Spanish department. It's interesting within was the there, big church. Quick, quick, quick uh, about the kids. Was there law and order? Because in Catholic church, mm-hmm. All the kids start going to the front, right? And the the priest is like, blah, 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 blah. They probably enjoy the kids coming closer. Anyways, Mm -hmm. but they go to the front. They start walking up. and it's Just just, caught that. I'm tired. Yeah. (laughs) Five minute delay on a joke. Don't worry. So then uh, (laughs) they did it. Not mine. Anyways, but then um, the kids are up. They like to just start running a hammock. What is it? Havoc? Havoc in the front. By the oh, so front, they, they're, they're not off. sitting down paying attention. No, they start crawling around. up to the front, and they're like four-year-olds, and they're on the steps, and the guy, and it's like their parents aren't getting them, but then they do get them, and then there's oh, another wow. kid. I would see this, and I was like, but you guys, no. No, we, we were in pews, and we were sitting there. Like in the morning, we all had Sunday school, so we all went to like our different departments, if that makes sense. So like if I was- music. 
No, what do you like mean department? age department. Sorry. Oh, okay. So like, you know, four to seven year olds go here, you know, eight to 11 year olds mm-hmm. go here, Barely you know, 12 to whatever, you know, and all the teenagers go here, you know. So we already knew where our Sunday school classes were. And then when you graduated, you went to the next Sunday school class and everything. So in the morning, we all went to Sunday school. And then at 1030, we would all meet with our parents and sit in the church pew. Did your dad go to church? Yeah. Yeah. My dad went to church. Oh. We, we went to church faithfully like Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Saturday morning, we what? would meet to invite other people to church. We would go out, so, what they called soul winning. What is know? it called? Soul winning. Soul winning. Oh, yeah. you got to win some souls. That kind of sounds like something, yeah. a, ba- a, char- a demon character oh, or something in a movie, a soul winner. <laughs> oh, wow. Or like a movie, that movie with uh, they Keanu Reeves. They make a movie out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that they make, they're making like a dark Winnie the Pooh? Did you hear about that? Like he's black? Like, no. <laughs> like, like, he's a serial killer, Winnie the Pooh. Isn't it, that terrible? Is that real? <laughs> Seriously, I heard it on TMZ, like, oh. a while back. It might already be made or whatever. But they were taking taking cartoons like that and turning them into, it's a real live Winnie the Pooh. Like, he's in a costume, but he's a serial killer. Kind of like Freddy and, like, Jason. But and it's like, it can't be the actual Winnie the Pooh. I, I swear don't to think God, they can give it's the Winnie the Pooh. Dark. Yeah, dark Winnie the Pooh. See, see the look How at the trailer. They, who owns the rights to Winnie the Pooh? I mean, How did look they get the bamboozled for this? <laughs> August thirty first, I guess it already came out. Published the indie horror film. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, look at him. He's eating a bunny. Is that is that? I don't know the characters. Is that Piggly or Wiggly or whatever? It's Piglet. It's Piglet. <laughs> so there's a picture of Winnie the Pooh eating. Yeah, Wiggly. look at that blood, blood and honey or whatever. Can you click on that blue one or, or go not? to the images? I'm kind of yeah. curious. Oh, yeah, the images would show you. Oh, there it is. Winnie the Pooh, Look Blood and Honey. Yeah. She's and then the hot. creators... Yeah, oh, now I'm you're going to watch it. <laughs> the creators are... How'd they get away with gonna this? Go is to is, the is there a parody? One. Don't they have to use the gender laws? I know. Or the people who give, have the rights to Winnie the Pooh are just like... Did they get the rights? Did the person pass away that... They got killed Winnie by the this Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the little toy cr- like killed the master. Despite the best efforts of Walt Disney oh, Company, the rights to AA Mind's beloved Winnie the Pooh enter the public domain. Oh, it went back in public domain. Yeah, Jagged Edge Productions. That's what it is. Rice. I got to hook into this Waterfield. public domain stuff. So you do. I, I want to see what else expired. That could yeah, be you could start trademarking a lot of stuff. That's uh, Last of the Mohicans. That's Exorcist. I don't know this one. Oh. And that's The Bodyguard, what I just saw a few weeks ago. Rest in peace, Whitney Houston. So, man, you got like Crack good memory cocaine. on that. Um, um, so they're going to make another one. They're look looking at into, um, I don't know if it was Snow White. They're looking into another one. This is kind of hot. Just I cannot okay. watch this. Well, first of all, I don't watch horror movies. I can't do it. I get too scared and stressed out. Wait, Life is stressful. Maximum and Van Damage, the definite top 10 <laughs> Van Damme movies. Van Damage. Oh, my goodness. Hard Target. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I forget. There's going to be more to come because they are going to keep doing. I don't know how popular it was or what, where it streamed at or I don't know. But, yeah, it's kind of Can I just see this real dark. quick? I know you don't like Van Damme, right? I just want to see the bouncer. Um, no, I haven't seen it. Kickboxer, I definitely. Uh, they haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. What is this? Oh, 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 Double Impact. I've seen it. I'm sorry. I'm having a, a bro moment. Way back. Time yeah, Cop. Yeah, go ahead Did you and see have time your bro, compact? bro moment by yourself. <laughs> I don't know what the, I've heard about this, JCBD, but no. JCVD, what does that stand Lionheart. for? Lionheart. I saw that in a movie theater, possibly. Universal Shoulder with, you know, D- Dolph Lundgren. He has like multiple degrees, right? He's oh, yeah. He has like a doctorate and stuff. Bloodsport. Uh-huh. Bloodsport is one of my, I just want to hear what number one is. Number mm-hmm. one, Heart Target, which was John Woo. Anyways, you were saying Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Your dad did go to church. My, my, yeah, where did we get to Winnie? Well, my I question don't know. was, your, <laughs> when your dad, did you do the bare minimum going to church or did you do all these extra activities? Um, he, just he, up? Sang, he sang bass in the choir, um, which I was surprised because he's kind of an time. introvert, but yeah. he would go up there and sing. Really? Um, my mom didn't sing. Um, I'm trying to think of what else he did. We all went so winning, so that was a thing. Did your brother sing? You know what? Carlo, Carlos does. The oldest did sing. The Ralph biker. never sang. Ralph was really not into anything. He Wreck was ready Ralph. to get out. At 18, he was gone. He was like, I'm done. You know? Oh, he was done and with the church? He was done. And I was surprised my parents like let him stay at the house, you know, because that was a thing. But being Hispanic, you know how it is. You want your kid to be there. They were like, stay, stay. Yeah, you know? Mexican so, parents, moms don't want their their yeah, they didn't want leave. any of us to leave yeah. ever. <laughs> but uh, and then my brother Carlos got ended up getting married and moving and like that. So, but yeah, um, yeah, kind of interesting. But my dad, that's pretty much all he did. He was kind of quiet. But my mom, 
my mom was very involved in like uh, like Saturday morning, like the what was it called? Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> no, it was like the little kids program or something like that. The kids program. Oh, I can't God, remember I what it was kids. called. <laughs> you don't like kids, right? Yeah, I really don't like kids. To be yeah. honest, I like my friends. I like kids, my just, just kids, you know, my son and stepson. But Elsie's kids, I like Heather's kids. There's All my a few. friends, their kids, I like, but I don't. Um, I hate kids. Yeah, when I'm at a restaurant a and someone's love crying, son, I'm just like. I d- Ooh, like why? <laughs> Especially if you're at a nice place. It's there should like, be a no kid. Do, are there no kids sections? There should be. Like well, remember I there was smoking those, and no like, smoking. You know, like those high end restaurants. You know me. I'm a foodie, so I go to mm. like Cena Tavern and all these other places in Chicago. But like they don't really have a lot of kids. I no, I don't really see a, kid, a lot of kids. But I went to Wildfire in Oak Brook yeah. with my family one time, and there was like this little kid, There's you know, a bunch just of kids crying. At Wildfire. And I'm like, why would you bring them to Wildfire? I mean, what are they going to eat there? Like, why wouldn't Crab you take cake. them to McDonald's or whatever? I just don't. I'm, I'm going to give some advice. I don't like kids. Uh, be wary of adults, men that like kids. Oh, yeah. Because how? I don't know how you can like kids. They're the worst. Like, there was a, we we're going to have a party, right, at the house. And it was okay. like, Jessica asked me, kids or no kids? I was like, no kids. <laughs> of, like, why would you even? Like, she like, wants to know. Why are you even asking? Like, yeah. it's, if it's a birthday party for a kid, it's for them. It's their party. Yeah. But if it's our party, like, I don't. And I remember um, it was no kids except somebody might have brought one kid, mm-hmm. and then there was might have been another one. And it was like just what I thought, you know, where the adults are over there and the kids like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's like, get out of here, dude. Like, oh, yeah, I don't, yeah. I like was, all my friends' kids. I do want to reiterate that. I don't want anybody to like not invite me to a party because of the kid. No but I will say, yeah, I went to this one party which was like a. It was, I was still it's in church, stupid. and it was like this big party. It was going to be at a park, and somebody invited me. And it was for a kid. And I was like, okay, cool. But there was enough adults where I was like, you know, talking to them and everything. But then all of a sudden, all these kids were everywhere. And I'm like, why are there so many kids? And then my friend's like reminding me, this is a kid's birthday party. I'm it's like, like oh, let's get right. Anakin Skywalker. That's right. right? That's Remember? Right <laughs> Yeah, there's I a, thought. I don't know. There's a reference I just threw in where oh. uh, Star Wars, Anakin Skywalker. There's all these kids, and then after he went in there with a lightsaber, they were gone. Basically, oh. it's a, it was a dark it, moment. Is in the that movie. really true? It happened in the movie. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which one was? <laughs> I'm so terrible. One of the I don't shitty remember ones. The crappy the, ones. I don't remember scenes in the movie, but I haven't really kept up with the Star Wars. No, they stuff. went. The, the only good one out of the new ones was Rogue One. I didn't like any of the new ones. Right? Are you a Star Wars guy? They, uh, I liked all the prequels. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, when I saw the first prequel mm-hmm. that came out, I was I drank and I don't really drink. I didn't drink at the time. It was when I was a teenager. I didn't start drinking until like twenty. So I saw mm-hmm. it. I was drinking. I was excited, and I was like, uh, and then I saw it again. And then there's this character. Uh, can you pull up a scene real quick? It's it's you know racism is right. You've met racist. Look. Yeah, I went to school with racists. Cake of Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. They are here. Oh. God. Well, there was racist in my school. I was bullied for being Hispanic Does it say in my school. Godfrey. Godfrey. Everything. Godfrey's Godfrey, a comedian. Not to take away the. This is worse. Um, mm-hmm. Godfrey clan number thirty nine. Hartford. Godfrey's a comedian, black comedian from Chicago. <laughs> oh, it's Hart, Hartford City, Indiana. Uh, Percentages of white population bringing in the Ku Klux. In Indiana the has a lot of white people. I don't know. See, I live in the low, well, it's light blue. Oops, I'm mm. not pink. Now you're, you guys are a little <laughs> bit light brown. But wait, what, what was it looking up? Just yeah. a, maybe a clip. I just want to see Jar Jar. I want to see her see this dumb character. Yeah. There's a, Do you watch the one on Disney Plus? The no. newer things? What is it called? No. Oh, man. I, I, only, it's called. I, I know a lot of people that watch it, and I just don't. But I watch. This is, I'll tell you what I watch. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, just play. I, I need to it. watch realistic things. Look, I don't at, know this. If Look at this character that George Lucas like put in. The Bachelor. <laughs> you know, your life has gone down the drain when you make a judge. Go, go, go into a. Oh, wow. I just want to hear him talking. Oh, he talks? <laughs> There's a scene where he says, are we going to die? Do you remember? Are we going to die? Let's see. I want to hear Wait, this is idiot. this Liam Neeson? Yeah. Oh, my from goodness. Taken. How did I not watch this? I love him. Oh, boy, boy, I listen, love listen, you. Listen, this idiot talk. Just killed. Are you brainless? I speak. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here. No, no, Mrs. Stay. Mrs. called Jaja and Pinks. Mrs. Your humble is Hotep, is this what it's called? Oh, but Hotep. it is. It is demanded by the gods, it is. Okay, stop this for a second. Voice is so it's, it's this old black voice where mm-hmm. white people would basically make fun of black characters and be like, oh, look, they're stupid. So it's called, is it Hotep? Is it what it's called? I forget what it's called. It has a certain name. It's, it's in the era of blackface where it's like, 
it's the black servant. Wait, this voice is that? If you listen to it, yeah. If you oh, look it, it sounds up, like it. It or? sounds like like oh, he's gonna die. Like oh. it's like somebody doing the the jig or the step. Oh, yeah. It's that type like of like back in the day. Back yeah. in the day, and it's like. And then he had the Asians guy, the the Chinese guys, to be like, oh, that bad guy was come? like, oh, you're so bad. Like, it was all these, uh, oh. uh, you know. And I don't, you know, I don't have any. It's, I'm fine with like funny racism, but like this is stupid. Like, I don't. So I hate, when did this come out? Is it, is uh, it recent or no? No, this came out when I was oh. in high school. Like, oh, it was like 20 years ago. I'm oh 38. wow, maybe that's why I didn't. Like, I know Liam. 1999 to the 2000. Um, okay. Um, huh. Uh, you want me to ask you about your shirt, magenta, <laughs> mammoth. This is supposed to be like <laughs> a smooth. Trip. Oh, yeah. I'm not this smooth. is uh, this is from Mammoth Rest concert. In peace. Mammoth is Van Halen's son, Wolfgang Van Halen. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen's Eddie son. Eddie Van Halen. Who and died? Have you listened to his music, no. like Wolfgang's? No. It's really good. I have like not. he plays every instrument instrument in in his video. He's like Prince. He plays everything. His I guess his father taught him how to play everything, maybe, or he learned it or whatever, and he sings really amazing. And he was up for a Grammy for the album, but Foo Fighters won. And I mean, well, I, they, like, yeah. I love Foo Fighters, Didn't but somebody, he I just think died, that, right? yeah, it was right after Taylor had passed away. So oh, of course. I think so if you want to win a Grammy, the, have your drummer die. And then oh my goodness. you get lucky. Did he overdose? How did he die? Yeah, he overdosed, which is sad. I really loved him. Do you know yeah. what, which drug he overdosed on? Several, wasn't it? Damn. Um, it was a couple, right, that they found? I think no, it was a I have couple no idea. pills. I just I mean we could I make it, things right? up. <laughs> but yeah, I think that I think it was a couple. I think the toxol it, it was several, which is sad because he, he relapsed. I just feel really bad for Dave Grohl. I mean, this is the second. We weren't going to bring up Foo Fighters, but we're now. Oh, this is the second that white guy passing died. away. Yeah, Nirvana. Like, What's um, his name? The one oh that goodness, dated I... that, the, the chick from Hole yeah, that nobody likes. Courtney Love. Courtney Love. I can't believe I'm going blank. This is so embarrassing because I love him. What's Kurt the white? Cobain. Yeah, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of. You're terrible. <laughs> you make me laugh when you laugh, so it's like, okay, let's just laugh about this. But yeah, two two people passing away. That's just kind of hard, like, in a band, right? So you, maybe it's Dave is the problem? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> no, he it's has not. Say, you know what? I want to write a joke about this, but it's really dark. Mm -hmm. You like dark humor, but, like, um, so... My parents had cancer, right? Both of them, yeah. right? And then there for a little bit, I thought my dog had cancer. And I'm like, okay, nobody can marry me because like, <laughs> you're next. <laughs> but my dog actually had liver issues. So, you know, now it's not it's not so... Um, I had a guest on here who was dating guys and they would die. Anna Valenzuela. Oh I don't think it's come out yet. But really? she, was on the, she was on Roast Battle. Justin does Roast Battle here in Chicago. Okay. You know Anna Valenzuela? <clears> she, does, uh, <throat> she did the Roast Battles. The ones, they were, I don't know. So you host Roast Battle? He's oh, a tech. You do the tech. For, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Sorry. he's a tech of roast battle. Uh, was my mic off the first part of the host? Was it my level or was I talking to? Because Jessica was after. She's like, I couldn't hear you. Was it my? I was I too far or my level on the mic on the last uh, road with Gabriel? Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me. Um, so Gabe is super loud. Yeah, so that's what I thought. To pull him down. Mm -hmm. um, I knew it. I don't feel as bad now because okay. I'm not very loud. No, Gabe did. Gabe killed me. It was great. But it was like, it was funny because I was like, Dave started talking, right? And I talked to the mic, but sometimes there's places that don't have monitors. And then you're like, okay, oh, okay. I was like, oh, people can hear it. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to hear yourself you hear it how, after. You, yeah, yeah. how you hear. But yeah, I heard him and I didn't you... hear me and I didn't think about it. And then I had like a few little, I'm not loud. I don't yell, you know? Yeah. Gabe is fucking, this fucking. Uh, oh, yeah. He's, he's like, very, uh, 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 yeah. He's very I saw light. him with the Ken Flores one and he was just like, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then. High energy. And then it was funny because then it was like, I'll make little comments, but mm -hmm. into the mic, and they're not loud, and then yeah. you can't hear them because my mic was too low. But oh, then at man. the end, they came up or something like mm -hmm. that. They had some jokes or whatever, but okay. but okay, twelve fifteen, I'm going against Tito. Tito will be good. I'm preparing a little bit okay. more for that one. But, that's coming uh, up. Yeah, that's coming up. That's next week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that is next week. Oh, wow. Uh, cool. And, but it's funny because afterwards, Jessica was like, oh, when's the last time you did roasting? I was like, uh, blah, blah, blah. you know, like, I don't know, three, four. Last time I did it was like before the pandemic in Milwaukee. And it's like, has Gabe done it before? I was like, yeah, he's one of the best. And then I was like, <laughs> you picked the best person to go yeah, up against. Yeah, he's probably him and <clears throat> who's probably one of the top ones, right, Gabe? Ken. Yeah, him and Ken probably. Wow, yeah, Ken's really good. Mizra, yeah, Mizra, she, he can't, oh. he, never, he can never get Mizra. Um, but huh. it was something I was gonna be. Wow. 
Yeah, roast battle. So the, do they all go on YouTube, all of the episodes? Oh, no. Thank God. Only, like, <laughs> the best <laughs> of or whatever. Because <laughs> my friends so were like... So that roast battle will die forever it's, in somebody hopefully, else's brain. Uh, I don't hopefully. Know. And, it's, and I brought... Uh, mm-hmm. and for some reason, I thought I was going to hit. And this is my mistake. I, br- I brought a shirt with Gabe's face on it, right? And it's his, well, he looks like... He looks like a work apart cracker. So did you make one shirt? I made a shirt, yeah. Oh, okay. I, and this is, I told you, at the end of the Ken Flores ba- uh, pa- battle, yeah. Ken made a joke about him like a, being a lesbian worker park something. And okay. He, and he pulled out the, sh- the picture. And then I was like, oh, that's fine. I was like just kind of going through my jokes. Oh, that's funny. Maybe I'll print out a shirt and wear it. But I just, yeah. I won't say anything. I'll wear it. Yeah. I didn't want to, I kind of mean, I couldn't do it at the end because that's when Ken did it. And I kind of didn't want to add a joke to it. Because I was like, well, that's kind of like what Ken did. So I was going to wear it without saying anything. Because then in my head, I'm like, am I kind of stealing if I do, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Either I shouldn't have done it or I should have wrote a joke for it and then pulled it out and just made it make sure it was different enough You were wearing it, right? So Yeah. So I pulled it out. And then when I pulled it out, Gabe just looked at me and just started roasting me and laughing. So it's funny. A lot of the humor was like, Gabe is such a fake Mexican. And this, I've never seen him look more fucking Mexican. His hair was down. He had a Ben Davis shirt. And I'm not very off the cuff. And it was a lot of dead dad stuff that didn't. Yeah. So like, what did he say to you? I, for, I don't remember because I usually I didn't Aww. record. I didn't yeah. re- usually I record. I can't remember my sets, so I always audio record. Do you know. both look Mexican? So it's kind of hard to like make fun of that in a way. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I only saw him that one clip with Ken Flores, so he is a little light skin, like more light skin maybe. I don't oh, know. Gabe, no, Gabe is yeah. me and him are both very brown. I feel. Oh, okay. Like light okay. brown. Uh, huh. anyway, but I was saying, so your dad not the church. Uh, oh yeah, where were we <laughs> before all of this huh? happened? Oh, see? Ten. Wow. Oh, okay, Poor okay. Thing. Taylor Hawkins. Let's see. My Marijuana, God. opiates, antidepressants. There were ten different substances in his body. Uh, yeah. And also part of the cocaine-like powder was found in his hotel room. Yeah. And I, it, didn't it happen in, was it in Peru? It was somewhere else, wasn't it? If it was in Peru, the, the president of Peru <laughs> just got kicked out. Because he was like trying to take over the country, and then oh. this happens in all Latin American co- a lot of countries where they're like, "Hey, I'm the president now." You know, Latinos are like, "How about the I'm ego. always the president forever?" Is this yeah. okay? And then he yeah. was trying to like kick out Congress, and so they just kicked them out. That happens a lot. I can't remember where it happened, but I want to say it was in a foreign country, and I want to say it was. I don't know if, if you go to a lot of concerts, right? I do. I love now, concerts so much. Oh my god! A concert addict. Yeah. How many concerts have you been to? Like over fifty. Oh, you know I should count. Way more. I think way. Yeah, I think more more than fifty. Yeah, like for sure. closer to hundred, something like that. I don't know, because like, I, I I was trying to catch up, you know, from like not going to them. Um, but yeah, oh, I've gone Courtney to. there's Peterson. She had a threesome. With uh, oh, Trashy Tina, she was on the Low End podcast. I'm sorry. On the oh, Low she talked podcast. about it. Tr- Trashy Tina talked about okay, it. Okay, can I tell you a story? <laughs> now that we're talking about that, mm-hmm. it's about somebody else. But um, lately, not lately, but I get like hit on by women, which is really bizarre because I love men. But anyway, mm-hmm. so I went to Second City, okay, and we were rehearsing for a play, and it was like new, it was we had just gotten these scripts or whatever. So these people wanted to rehearse because it was like a hard part. It was something that we were repeating or repeating. It was, it was just difficult. Is this acting or improv? Acting. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, improv is just on the, off the cuff. I know. I I like acting, but anyway, so they're like meet at the bar because of course that's a great place to (laughs) to get stuff done. So we went to the bar and, and she, the girl was there before. You were meeting at the bar to practice stuff? Yeah. Well, we were all going to meet at the bar for a drink and then go practice. Like okay. we were waiting on people, I guess. All right. So I got, I get there and I just met this girl and like the first thing she's talking about is how she's bisexual and how her ex-boyfriend she wanted to have a threesome with his girlfriend and her and they lived out of state. They lived like in New York and they were going to fly in and all this stuff. And I'm just like, wow, I just met you. Like, like, there was no like, how was your day? It was like all this stuff. She's like, and she so was anyway. showing me pictures of the guy. Ew. And, like, oh, just no, regular just pictures, regular right? Pictures. Like, yeah, here's like, here's no. our first threesome. Just regular pictures. Like, this is who I used to date. Whatever, whatever. And she goes, well, what about you? And I'm like, what? she's like, do you like women? And I'm like, no, no. I like men. She goes, that's okay. <laughs> so, I thought that was so funny because it was like for the first time in my life, I was like. Is it bad to be heterosexual? Because <laughs> she's like, that's okay. <laughs> like, oh, she said, like, that's okay? Like, that's okay. Put kind of like saying, like, oh, you know, you know, you're going to be, like, you know, kind of like 
down, like kind of looking down drink. at me in a way, like kind of saying, she that's spiked okay. Drink. She should have put and some like, Visine drops in her drink. And I'm like, did you grow up in church? No, that's okay. <laughs> it was just, it was just kind of funny. Are like, you still okay. friends with this uh, No, monster? not at all. She was really weird. Um, she wanted a date, one of my friends, and she kept texting him, texting him, texting him. And he was a, by all accounts, a pretty decent guy. I mean, you know. When you say decent, like good person, not. Yeah, like good person. I mean, like, yes, like to not be. like totally like, you know. He wasn't like Baptist, Not an Baptist and all of that. F-U-C-K boy. No, like yeah, a decent guy, whatever, Res- oh, on, respectable, whatever. You but know you what I mean? You say grow Baptist, but go, no, we'll go back to he that. didn't grow oh, Baptist. Okay, I'm just saying because I wanted, to, talk about I those wanted guys. to just say just a decent guy out there. You know, like just a normal decent guy. Are right? you a decent giant guy, Justin? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> You look like it, dude. You could do totally I get mean, away with decent, a lot. I mean, he's not going to cheat on you. you know, oh, that's a big deal. He's going to you seriously. He's probably not going to just. I mean, I, I mean, I'm sure he'll take whatever. Get, I feel like people cheating give him, is but he's part not of the course like, for men. He's not like a like a man whore. Okay, uh-huh. he's just a decent guy. So then, um, she was texting him and texting him and texting him. She's going to hate me if she listens to this. She was texting, him, was texting, 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 texting. Uh-huh. And then, you know, he, I was friends with him. And he was telling me, why well, I'm still friends with him. He, tell, he was telling me, and I was like, oh, my goodness, this girl. And he goes, yeah, you know. And so we both thought she was kind of crazy. Well, because he ignored her, we go to, you know, to acting class. Mm-hmm. And we both walk in together, and she's walking across the hallway. And, he, and she's like, you didn't text me back, you bitch. I mean, she, like, yelled at him in front of a she's lot of white, people. She's white, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's a white girl. And I just was like, I could not believe she did that. I was just like, what a horrible... And he laughed, but I was mad because he's my friend. I'm like, I wanted to go, you know... I feel women get more upset or take things more to the heart. Like, yeah. stuff that I don't get offended. Like, Well, I feel like if you get ghosted, like, is the real proper thing to do... Like, okay, she acted like he cheated on her. And he did, you know what I mean? If somebody cheats on you, maybe you could do that. It's like, okay, I guess it's better than slashing tires. But, like, if... If somebody ghosts you, I mean, it's not fun, and I don't like ghosters, you know, but, or ghosting, but, like, what are you going to do? Go yell at them? Just be like, you ghosted me, you know, you, whatever. I think it's, it's, it's the way, it's like uh, I just think she thought she was really pretty, and she's like, how dare you ghost me? I think it's a, I don't know. It's an ego thing. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, yeah, how dare you ghost me? Because if a girl, if I was there, and then. A girl starts acting crazy with me. I don't really care. I wouldn't get offended. I care more like, is this type of chick who's going to call my work or do this or cause oh, problems? Like, yeah. Does she need to be taken care of? Right? <laughs> oh, my God. Do I have to call my... <laughs> A, the cleaner or whatever like that. Like, I don't a want fixer. problems. There's a fixer, right? There should be a fixer for that. Yeah, I was just, and and he was, I go, are you okay? He was laughing. He's like, I'm fine. You know, guys are just so funny about that. You guys, everything slides off of you guys. Like everything. We, we want to go to work and then do yeah. the things we Where women do. were like thinking and what did they mean by that? And what did they say by that? And what are they going to do with that? <laughs> All of that, you know, I'm, it's crazy. I, I feel that I'm more, I'm empathetic where I could see like, man, I see where these people are coming from. Uh, I'll give you the example when, um, let's see. So, let's take it Not a good example. But. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Let me tell you. Well, go ahead. Maybe we should go. No, I'm not going to say that example. You're going to tell I'm me I'm going to tell you my brother and story. Yeah. yeah. So. From okay, Cobra Kai. Pre, He's Italian. Yeah. Italian. Yeah. A Jersey guy. Hey. So, before pandemic, mm-hmm. I went to Vegas and I went to go see Gwen Stefani. And because I'm that crazy. Oh, I, I was going to tell you earlier, yeah. uh, the guy from Bush. Yes. He did a show at this place called Austin's years ago in um, Libertyville. Oh, no, oh. no, in Libertyville. It's called oh, Austin's here. Fuel Room, right? Oh, okay. But when he was solo, and I remember just my buddy, they worked there, and he told me, he's like, he saw him in the back, and right before he performed, he had like this whole thing. Uh huh. No, no ice or anything, just full of tequila, and then just, so I don't know if he's alcoholic or nothing, but he had. Oh. No, full one before he went up. But anyways, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. I, just oh, okay. want, I forgot to let you I know. I wanted to know if like he was going to say he was a douchebag or something because I was like, oh. I don't know. Like, I think I it was just like a drunk. So nice. He was like, he asked, like, what do you want? He was like, a blah, blah, blah of Don Julio. Like, oh, okay. And he just finished He seems like a really nice up. guy. Like from what I see, like on podcasts, or not podcasts, but when he Instagrams, he just like seems like a very mild mannered. I mean. Him and Stefani broke up, right? Yeah. He slept with a nanny. <laughs> what is he, Arnold? Just terrible. He didn't get her pregnant at least, right? Um, no, she's not pregnant, but she looked a lot like Gwen, but like a terrible version. I mean, not a terrible version, but like just young. She was younger, but I, I would think Gwen is way prettier. Like, it's just That doesn't weird. matter to a guy. I know, How right? What is that? It's like, is, is there a vagina? Is it there? It's just available? It's in, is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. That's so sad. Is it? Well, I mean, like, I mean, 
it would make more sense if she but was no... better than. I mean, but I mean, I'm not condoning cheating. I hate cheating, but it's just kind of like, yeah, I just, I couldn't, I just didn't understand. Like, and then the girl started dressing like Gwen. It was really psychologically weird. Oh, after yeah, women like, like to do during, that. Like during, like she would dress like Gwen. And then she was like the nanny forever. Like she saw all those kids grow up. You never have like good I looking. Think... Never have good looking nannies. <laughs> yeah, get yourself no, an older real. lady from Mexico, like in her sixties. Like at my job, my owners are like they have a rule: they don't hire attractive women, and they they just won't. Really? At your job? Mm-hmm. Oh wow. They won't do it. It's, it's like, like a rule. It's just, it's just yeah, yeah. They don't but hey, they get everything else everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like. So this is one little thing you can't work here no yeah because it's like it's problems you know what i mean mm-hmm. like you know there's for the men or whatever so it's like mm. that's interesting because are you didn't you work with somebody who would go to work with like her like tits hanging out or something like that like it's a distraction oh well no it wasn't at work it was at a work party yeah it was a work, oh. work party uh-huh. um I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Now I'm 50, I feel like 50, you have to keep your shit together at a work party. You can't like go crazy. Now, I used to go to a work party for somebody else's job, and I'd let loose. Like I got drunk and I would dance and like everything else. But I didn't work there. But like, if you work at your work party, then yeah, you have to keep it. I had a weird situation at one of my work parties. I don't know. I, I don't want to say where it's from because like, but um, I, I used to work at a facility at a place mm-hmm. and there was a Mexican guy that like, I, I don't know if he cleaned or whatever, but he would come into it's our, janitor, in our probably, office yeah. or whatever. Landscape. And I thought he was cute. You know, so I would always talk to, always talk to him in Spanish. He talked to me in Spanish and everything like that. So uh, time went on. We would talk, whatever. Well, we end up going to a work party and he was there. And um, it was it was at a, these places. Th- these people would have really nice work parties. Like one time it was Wrigley Field. Okay, they one got time it was the Museum of Science and Industry. Like yeah, so we go and I end up sitting with them. You know, like I can't remember if I sat down and he sat down or how it happened, but I started talking to him. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so then like he wanted to hang out, but then he told me he goes, I got to tell you, I have a girlfriend. And then I was just kind of like, yeah, no, you know, I'm very like super loyal. It's like, and it's funny because. Like one time, I shouldn't out my brother, but one time I was in a different situation. Just don't say which one. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's two. And this guy, I was talking to him, and the same thing. He had a girlfriend, and and then my brother's like, "Who cares? You know, he's not married." And I'm like, "He has a girlfriend. Like, I'm not gonna. Be, I, he wants me to be a side piece, right? I mean, yeah. he's not really gonna I, drop his girlfriend for me. And if he does, and I'm always gonna question if he's gonna drop me for somebody else. You know, it's just not right. I have a rule, right? I don't sleep with married women. Uh, unless they're Honduran, because I don't count that as a real marriage. But I, my rule is... Do no, Hondurians not get married for real? They're, just, remember, they're, the male and the female version, they're, they're all Oh, they're okay, anyway. It's, it doesn't... So it, it doesn't matter to the story. Okay. Yeah, dude. They're, they're, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But because, no, as a man, right? Right. Because how men think, men think yeah. as women as their property. You know what I mean? A married woman. Uh, so if I Uh-oh. if I slept with yeah yeah so a married Old man school. yeah it's That's kind of in the back of their head at least mm-hmm. a Hispanic word I don't know how mm-hmm. white people feel like oh, I got I was like oh they're probably, I would say a white yeah. dude is recording and there's a black dude whatever it's different I guess they have different uh, views on things but you know Hispanic it's like no so it's like I could potentially die if I oh yeah they might woman. murder you yeah because if it's if I sleep with somebody's <laughs> girlfriend they're gonna be, be upset line. at me whatever like yeah. I've got I've gotten phone calls before he was like did you sleep with her I was like look. That's between you and her. None of my business. Blah blah blah. Just tell me the truth. She said you didn't sleep. Why with wouldn't you say no? You just because you just, that's just none of my you don't business. Wanna... That's between you two. That's like well, we. That's uh... like no, like this one girl I slept with at the time. It was a girl I did for like two weeks, right? Okay. And then I found out like she is uh, very promiscuous, like and a liar. Like and I was like, all right, this is like the, our first date. Her ex showed up to the house when I went to go pick her up, and mm-hmm. the guy had her name on Sharpie on his arm, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Take me back, blah blah." And he tried to get oh, in a fight with me, weird. and then right there, like that I, is really red weird. flag, right? I was gonna fight with the dude. I like I didn't get in a fight. I was like, I think right. a Sharpie's weirder than a tattoo. <laughs> That's really weird. I am turning into a dad now because I have a Sharpie. Like, nobody can get a water bottle in my house without putting their name oh, with a Sharpie no, on Oh, you're it one now. of those guys. Huh? Dude, because then there's three water bottles that are half fucking full. <laughs> well, you are buying the water bottle. Huh? I think it's better than a water bottle than, like, a Solo cup. People are funny about Solo cups. So oh, no. The, I have the red Solo cups. Um, everything has to have a name. Oh, oh, the red Solo cup, too? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I like oh, I just I just kind of roll my eyes at that when I go to parties and I refuse to put my name in. But I always I won't hold, give you a cup. Oh, for real? I wouldn't. Oh, I would be like, That's you so can't have shady. Uh -huh. I would just hold my cup all the time. You know, I know where I left my cup. Like I I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you drinking is important. Or you could bring your own cup ahead of time. It's fine. You know what I mean? We're not using my bring cup. My big Yeti. Yeah. Unless well, a Sharpie. So then uh what wow. I'm saying okay. was Okay. So what we were talking about about the two weeks and oh, the girl Mary, and yeah, Mary. I don't want to die. Oh yeah, yeah. Back to the party. Okay, mm -hmm. so this guy tells me he's got a girlfriend. So I'm kind of like, okay, no. Oh, and I told him no. And he's like, oh, okay. So he was fine for a while. So we kept talking, whatever. And then he's like, oh, let's, I'll walk you to your car, whatever. I'm like, okay. So we had to walk to like a stairwell and go downstairs to get mm -hmm. to the parking garage. And we get to the stairwell and the door shuts. And we're going down the stairs and he grabs me and he kisses me. <laughs> and I mean, like, you know, Mexican style, like, ah, you know, like, <laughs> ra that. like ra ravage, you know, <laughs> like it was not a pack of me. He was like, and I just, I was so shocked. I like pushed him off and I screamed because I have like this weird delay reaction. Like, like if somebody scares me, like I'll be like, <gasps> and then it'll be a big scream. Like somebody scared me when I was in college. <laughs> like I was on the security team, which I should have never been on the security team. the hell is a security team? team? <laughs> Okay, so when I was in college, we would have like a big ring of keys, and we were on security, and we'd have to go around to like each room. Like hall monitors? <laughs> yes. Like college hall yeah, monitors? Yeah, like to go in, in each room and <laughs> make sure nobody's, like, nobody's making <laughs> out or anything. No, I felt affected because I had the big rings. <laughs> you <laughs> narc. It's a big key of rings, and I would have to go and make sure nobody's making out, nobody's doing anything, nobody's whatever. So I could never do that. But it was weird because it was all all day, like 24 hours. You so would I people? would get booked at <laughs> what like do you do? 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. It was weird hours. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd have to go to bed, and then, like, at 2 a.m., like, work till 2. Did you 2. get paid? Yes. Okay. Well, it was um, for a room and board, you know, okay. for food and whatever. So so from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., I had to work. Well, this guy gets a crazy idea to scare me. He's also a security guard. Now, I didn't have to dress in a weird uniform. Security team. I just would walk around. Yeah. So I'm walking down this hallway, and it's, like, dark. It's, like, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. You didn't get the sash you did in middle school or whatever? <laughs> no, the, no, okay. no. We didn't have any weird outfits. I just wore my skirts, you know. So I was walking, and he was behind a door, and he comes out, and he spooks me. And I literally, I just was like, <gasps> and I screamed, like, ah! I mean, like, you know, like, horror movie. Like, yeah. Ah! Like, way the, like, the dark then, way the poo's like, about to I get you. I breathe, and I'm like, ah! I mean, I was like panicked and he was like, I am so sorry. Like, I think I freaked him out because I screamed so much. Like I was going to die. You and reversed. he was like, he's like, I am so sorry. He's like, I am so sorry. I'm like, how would you do that to me? And I was really pissed because it was like two, three in the morning at a Christian, it was a Christian college, but it was like, you, you know, those just videos so bizarre. Uh, it was just so scary. I want to see this happen I one day it. and I hope it has happened. You know, those videos where those guys go and scare people in the street or something like that and spook them. I'd like to see that. Maybe I don't want to see it, but uh, uh, it happened like in a concealed carry state, like in Texas, and they that happened. Somebody got shot. So you know how they school. That's what you get. That hey. would happen with my brother. Hey, you know, he would shoot you down. Hey. <laughs> Like, those guys oh trade. Yeah, this They're is ready, not the dude. thing to do in Texas. You go do this in New York. But you know those shoes? <laughs> oh, maybe that's why I haven't seen those Oh, like the anymore. big bun, like the big clown shoes? No, but like, you know, they spook you or like okay. they pretend they're, you're in the street and they pretend they're going to like yeah. rob you or something. Like, I, I've always wanted to see oh, like that a concealed is horrible. carries in and they go. My heart just hurts because I just, I'm a scaredy cat. Like, YouTube our prank ends in fatal shooting. Urban oh air. Oh my god. Trampoline and adventure park. Why is it called urban? <laughs> it was it's headed like an adventure park. Thing? That's what? really bizarre. Twenty year old has <laughs> been shot dead park allegedly outside. taking part in a prank robbery being filmed for YouTube. Oh, it was on film. <laughs> oh, was oh my god. Those are officers the prank had been a YouTube video. No one has been arrested over the death. That's why I don't like pranks either. Uh, so Although I did a bunch of them, but robbery not prank like videos this. are relatively common on YouTube involving fake firearms, baklavas, wow. and get away with it. The baklavas are yeah, dude Crazy. like Crazy. What is it? Um it's uh somebody said if you you fuck with me, you're going to get fucked with the goat and the Adam Sandler I don't Sandler know what a ba balaclava is. When you said baklava, I thought it was a Greek dessert. <laughs> it's the mask. The baklava is a mask. Oh. It's a ski mask, basically, right? Okay. A baklava. Balaclava. I don't know. It's a, okay. <laughs> Fake firearms. Wow. That is so terrible that he lost his life because he was doing a prank, but that's just not the prank you do. That's, and then he's um, in Texas. That is terrible, right? You have, That's to, a horrible you thing. have to read the room, right? I'm not you in, go to Texas and do this. I'm not enjoying <laughs> that this happened. I'm yeah. not. Yeah.
I know, fuck. I know. You're you laugh about fuck this dude. Like crazy don't do stuff. that. Yeah. Don't, it's like if you're gonna. Uh, do you don't yeah. do that? Right? You don't. You don't you, do that. Like just you're in like, Nashville. You're in Tennessee. You know how many people have guns in Tennessee? Like you're when you're born. Oh, as was a baby, it in Tennessee? It was in Nashville. Oh, I right. thought it was in Texas. No, it's the same thing. I don't right? know. Nashville is. A, I didn't know they were gun toting. Well, it's in Tennessee. Nashville's probably like it's still it's still Texas. I guess it's yeah. It's kind of country and yeah, or it's totally country maybe. I was gonna ask you about uh, there was a a bad date you went on. Oh and then there's God. also I don't know if you want to know that guy that concert you went to you went to you met a guy at a concert who was weird. Oh yeah. I don't know if you want to talk about yes. that. Yes, I could talk about that. Um, yeah, <laughs> this kind of weird. I was gonna write a joke about it, but then I, I did it at the Lincoln Lodge and it kind of just went south. Um, but okay, so I went to a Guns N' Roses concert and um, I, yes, I'm a big like try to get front row, um, all of that. So I was there at 1 p.m. What time was the concert? 10:30. No. no, actually, I think they started earlier, like 6 p.m. That's when Mammoth opened mm -hmm. up. And then but anyway. we'll go back to this in a second, maybe just before. Did you ever catch anybody making out or doing the one that oh, was no, security? Oh, no, no, never did. Okay. Never did. Right. Never caught anybody. Now, well, that's a whole other story, but there was a security guard that it was weird. He kind of had a weird crooked hand, and he was married. And they caught him on a Gay pontoon guy? boat. No. no. <laughs> with, uh, he was married and he was on a pontoon boat with these girls and he brought liquor, but they didn't know. Like he was like, oh, I have orange juice for you, whatever. And oh, he didn't tell them it was liquor? He didn't tell them. And you know, we were taught never to, to drink, like never to even carry an alcoholic bottle. Oh, like you couldn't, you couldn't, couldn't even carry. I have a story about that too. You could not carry alcohol. At all, like it was, it was terrible just to pass it. You know, like I when you're at a time. Sox game well, and somebody passes, my niece or my stepson was like, "Hey, can you bring me the drink or grab me that?" Like I do I, that all the time oh, with really? kids. Oh, really? With little kids? Yeah, we were not allowed to even touch it. So they are sipping it, and then they were like, "This tastes weird." And then he's like, "Ha ha ha!" There's liquor in there, so of course they feel like. You know, they've sinned, you're technically you know? Drugged and, me. Like, you didn't tell me. Yeah, you know what? That's actually really bad. That's so trucking. he got fired because I think one of the girls told on him and stuff. That's like, and, he's like practicing when he actually roofies somebody. Like, let's see if yeah, I can get away with this. Like, if you roofie him with next real step. liquor, but they didn't really know. Yeah, it was terrible. He's like, ha ha. And I was so shocked because the guy was like so nice. <laughs> but like, I mean, there's always Did something. Go to the church? There's always somebody. You used to think that. If you went to the church, you were a good guy, right? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. They, I found that there were bad guys in church. But anyway, so back to the, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, Guns N' Roses. So at 1 p.m., we're standing in line, and it's like general admission, so you have to wait forever. Was Axel there, or was it with somebody else? You know, it was with Axel. Okay. Yeah. I'm not there for Axel. I am there for Duff and mm -hmm. Slash. They could put anybody. They could put, I don't know. I mean, somebody I like, but like, they, you know, I don't think I could do my Lee Cyrus. Quick, quick, quick second. <laughs> Um, I told you about this song. Have you heard that song? Uh, you guys look it up. Oh, yeah. Just, I just want to look up that. the name of the song. Yeah. I'm not going to look up any lyrics. Have you ever heard the racist Guns N' Roses song? Uh, look up racist Guns N' Roses song. It's I really racist. It's, I'm going to listen to it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. at any rate, so I'm Continue. in line, and, and the there was a guy it. there, and I've seen him in other concert circuits, at other slash concerts, you know? Mm -hmm. And he was a real built guy, you know, like kind of like, you know, I mean... I don't know about steroid, but like built, like really built guy, kind of a little short, you know, not a bad looking kinda guy. Kind of looks like the liver king. Okay. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. The liver king. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people do roids, but. I don't uh, know. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I'd have to get a steroid if expert you look like to that, tell you do. me no, he already he's got a caught. steroid. He already got oh, caught. Oh no, no, no. I know about the liver guy. I'm talking oh, about this guy. You're <laughs> this talking other about, guy. Okay. So at any rate, um. Um, you know, we're talking whatever. You know, you start talk making friends with the people in the GA section, you know. So GA, general admission. General admission, oh. yeah, because it's pit, you know, because they had a pit, you know, for the that. Peasants. So anyway. Okay. So at any rate, um, we, you know, I'm going to cut the story because it's going to be so I can tell you every detail about how much we paid for tickets and he was mad that somebody else paid less and whatever. Okay. So anyway, so we go inside and, you know. I told him, I'm like, hey, man, can you can you run and, like, get me a spot? And he's like, yeah. You know, so he ran, and he got me a real good spot, you know. I mean, I probably, you know, I could have, I ran too, but it was. One in a million. He got there first. Look up one in a million after the podcast and listen to the song with the lyrics on YouTube. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of surprising. Immigrants, and A lot of their songs hard are kind of surprising. It's a yeah. hard R. It's a hard R. Anyway, not, it's terrible. Not the type of R that you'll hear uh, Tito or like me voice. or Oscar say on yeah. a podcast, the, the bad R. Uh, is what he says on it, but continue. One in a million. Yeah, Have you heard this song? 
Listen afterwards. Anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, he told me about it because I was big Guns N' Roses. Because Slash was, was like, against what? it, but he was winning because you know Slash is mixed race or whatever. Oh yeah, that's right. So His he's like, he was like, Axel, I don't. Should we yeah. release this song? And Axel was like, uh, or no, or, or yeah, Axel was like, no, no, no. You see, because it's like it's not racist. It's trying right. to show like, okay, this guy was ignorant, but then blah 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 blah. Yeah, but within it's pretty the harsh. song, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. kind of crazy. So anyway, so we get to the front row, whatever, and we're you know watching the whole song and whatever. And then it was so You're weird. Along to yeah, win a million there was for another work. weird guy next to me. He made some stupid comment, and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> what people? I don't understand because you've stupid. talked about this that you want to write a book about like. What to say and not to say to a woman. Is that what we talked about? What time? Mm, anyway. No, no. But like this guy. I made super comments. Maybe I shouldn't say that because then I have to say something else that I did. So I don't know. I mm -hmm. mean, I didn't do anything wrong. But like, anyway, he was he mm -hmm. was from Georgia or some some other place. And he came mm -hmm. for the concert and he's standing there. The devil went and down And then, to Georgia. Um, you know, it's a hot day. I have a summer dress on. So like I adjusted, you know. Okay. And then I was like, oh. And he was looking at it. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And he goes, well, as long as you do that later. And I'm like, okay. Do what later? Oh, adjust? Yeah. Like, he was trying to, like, Like, say, adjust your... Like, yeah, my torso. Okay. <laughs> my bra. <laughs> you like, just I was this. just adjusting the yeah, straps. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I was just adjusting. Like, you know, it's a hot summer day. I had a summer dress on, whatever. And so then he was like... My girlfriend like, has a bra where you could just clip it off and it comes out. Okay. It's for nursing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but it's, that makes a lot more sense. That yeah, makes yeah. sense, too. So anyway, so he's like, as long as you Very do that nice. later. And I just was like, you know, that's just like, and I mean, I wasn't attracted to the guy to, to begin with. And then he says that. And it's like, okay, you're a creep. Mm -hmm. Let's go over here. So then I was talking to, to the other guy. And so then. Oh, yeah, that uh, is creepy. Yeah, oh, later. I forgot this part of the story. Okay, so in the GA line, you know, we're talking for six or seven General hours. Uh -huh. So he's like, oh, you know. Six or seven I got, hours? well. Maybe five. Like, maybe I exaggerated. I think the concert was going to start early, six. To the front yeah, right. like it. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, you have the gate is one entry, and then the whatever. Mm -hmm. So he's like, uh, he tells me this random story about how he was accused falsely of raping a girl <laughs> in high school. <laughs> And well, I'm he just, just met like, you, right? He just met you, right? Right. He just met you, and well, he this is our first with. long conversation because I've seen him. I've seen him at other concerts, and he's seen me, but we've never like you know talked. So yeah. So, so he's gonna open with, "Hey, I was kind of a cute, <laughs> bossy, accused I mean, of rape." I mean, it was probably within the first two hours. He's we trying to impress you with this. Right? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I was just kind of like, <laughs> okay. So then, I, so then he tells me the story about how like. He dated this girl, and then she turned around and started telling people that, and he didn't know, and that's what he told him, and like all this stuff, and I was just kind of like, okay, you know what I mean? Like that's like, so as a woman, you're like, okay, was he falsely accused or was he not falsely accused? Right? Like you start, you know, your wheels start spinning. Yeah. And the story was kind of weird, and. I mean, I understand people could falsely accuse you, but I don't know why you would tell that story anywhere. Like, why? Well, yeah, he just this is the like, first real conversation. How is that going to end up with Yeah, it. like now I'm thinking you might be a rapist, right? You know, you might be a rapist. So anyway, that's like a Jeff so, Foxworthy <laughs> bit, right? You might be a rapist if. <laughs> <laughs> Might be so right we get in there, whatever, we enjoy the concert. And so I'm going to leave. I'm like, hey, you know, you know, catch you later, whatever, because I know he's going to go to another concert that has Slash in it. And mm -hmm. he, like, grabbed my hand, and he's like, That's kind of rapey. That's kind of rapey. He grabs my hand, and he's like, he's are, like you, are you okay no. to walk to your car? Can I walk you to your car or something? He's and like, you want I a just drink? was like, I honestly don't even remember what I said. I go, oh, I'm really tired or something. I mean, I knew what he was getting at. So then I left. And I mean, I was really tired after a concert. It's hot and sweaty and whatever. So I left and so walked myself to my car. And then later on, he like messaged me on Facebook. And then that was like another conversation, you know. But I, it was just like. What was his DM? Oh man, I don't know I if I want to. I, I don't know if I want to disclose what his DM was. He's like, Basically, I'm not a really, I'm not really a rapist. Kind of like what he was into and whatever. And and I needed, I needed, honestly, I needed a translator because like I grew up Baptist. Was I it no sexual clue. stuff? Yeah, I have no clue what he was talking about. I was Probably like, BDSM. okay, 
Great concert. Switch. Thanks. Did you, he, did, <laughs> he didn't use the word switch, right? Like I, I've learned. I'm in a group right now. What do you mean by switch? I don't know what that means, but it's uh, it's part of the, those fetish people, right? Oh, I've yeah. got thrown into that. I don't life. have any clue. Of so like somebody. I just I'm I, very normal. Yeah, somebody I know, I guess, like is into kinky stuff, right? I might have had a kid with them, but then she like so they introduce with them, introduce me to these words and things like that. Like I might be nude on some website or something. She's like, mm-hmm. oh, put this at your profile pic. On Fet Life or whatever, but I was like, "What is this?" Yeah, yeah. It's like, I like, ended up asking a guy friend. Just they're like switch. <laughs> There's all these words I know. They like now. explained it, and I was kind of like, huh. you know, like I don't know. That's also I don't know. Like I think men because you know to- me. Well, like. I'm very, I guess I'm very open, but at the same time, I'm very rigid, too. Like, you find out stuff. Well, you're stuff, very respectful, which I really But appreciate. you find out stuff that I'm, like, I, I'm like, eh, actually, like I'm against people don't want to talk about things or whatever, you're not going to talk about them. But no, what do you mean? Like, but oh. Like, uh, you're like, you never think I, I, I have certain views on things. Like, no, actually, I'm against that. Oh, like, that. you're strict about some stuff. I'm very, yeah, I'm very, I feel like I'm very strict, but I'm open. Man, that's, I'm not explaining anything right. <laughs> Um, like you have certain particular views on things. This is me. Like is that, do whatever you want, but yeah. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. And then I'm pretty. I guess I'm pretty kinky. But I, I would never. That sounds gross to even say. It does. But, but, that, that word is a little. Yeah, because like let's, I've done stuff with my partner. I hate that word too. With with Jessica, and she's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you're very uh, kinky." I was like, "Oh, really?" It's just well, it's good that you found a girlfriend that's cool with all of that. Yeah. You know, because I've heard your podcast. I mean, it's great that she's cool with that. Because then there's no like, I don't want to do it. Come on, I don't want to do it. Come on, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man. There's one thing she that. doesn't want to do, but I won't say it on this oh, episode. Okay, well that's good. So then there's that too. But yeah, I mean, and you respect that. A and that's E cool. are the, is the acronym for that. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, moving along. So yeah, don't tell anybody that you were accused falsely about raping, <laughs> even if it's a true story. Because it kind of just killed, it's just like, hmm, okay. I mean, not that I was ever like, oh, I want to go home with this guy. But, like, it was just kind of like, okay, now I I've, don't really. The one I remember is I was at a girl's house, and they were about to do something, probably. And I asked her, I was like, hey, I understand. I would understand if you want to go pee right now. And oh, yeah. You talked I about told that, you that one. Your podcast, I've talked about yeah. it. So I was. it was just me saying, like, oh, yeah. if you want to go freshen yeah. up or something like that. But I shouldn't have said it that way or said it. Oh, I'm then, thinking of a different story. But anyway. Oh, probably. <laughs> and uh, I was like, please don't tell that story. Right no, no. And then, and then she left. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then she went to go rendezvous with her friend. Because I went there with another friend. Yeah, and they rendezvoused or whatever. Know. And then they. I like, just really yeah. like to be in a relationship. Like I don't know if I want to get married anymore. Like marriage sounded great just when I was like twenty. No. But like, do you want to get married? I mean, not like. No, no? You're, you're still young too, yeah. right? Yeah. How old are you? Twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, don't do it. Just kidding. <laughs> I just, I just kind of feel like I don't know. I mean, when you're nineteen, twenty, and it's like, oh yeah, I want to get married. I want to have all these kids and. You know, I don't know. My my number of kids changed all the time. I was like, maybe two, maybe three, maybe like like four. You know, I want I wanted it to be even because like what my, is that in my Jessica's <laughs> the same thing. Yeah, because like, yeah. like in my house it was two boys and me, and I felt like you know it was two against it. one sometimes. Well, they always thought I was spoiled because I was a baby and I was the girl. And you were a girl, yeah. Yeah, and I mean in some regards maybe I'd spoil the girl, but it wasn't like I grew up in some rich place, you know, and they were like, here's a you know. Lamborghini. You know, like, I mean, I wasn't spoiled like, oh, yeah, you're going to get everything and your brothers are going to get nothing. Like, I, I didn't see it like that. Um, but but if you talk to my brothers, they probably thought I was spoiled. But, like, yeah. Or I didn't get in trouble for everything. I would definitely. Like, I, don't know. I know I'd be more protective of if I have a daughter. Like, I feel with my son, I'm like, he needs to learn to be a man. Today. Yeah. And Jessica's like, he's eight months old. Like, maybe... <laughs> Like be so, a man, little baby. Yeah, I like don't cry. Like no, I. No, it's you funny. let him cry. I, it's funny Please when he cries. Cry. <laughs> I, I think it's so funny when he cries because he, he put he like fight. It takes him two hours to go to sleep because he mm-hmm. fights and he's tired, but he fights and goes and goes and blah blah blah. And then he starts crying. And I know he's he's not hungry. He's not whatever mm-hmm. sick. But it's funny to me because he's crying. So do you want a girl for the second one, or do you care? Do you want I another want, boy? I want, I want a girl, and then I want to be done. But Jessica's like, I oh. want a third. I'm back and forth because the other day I was like, man, it's a lot of hard work raising a kid. I was like, I think I'm done. It's a lot of money, too. It's expensive, it right? Is, uh, dental. Fun. Like, with which of the dental parts starts? Attention. And then, like, anything. <laughs> medical. <laughs> well, if they're healthier, it helps. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. 
baby food, diapers. So what was a big adjustment, like being a father? Like, how are you? How are you with that? Like home more? Yeah. <laughs> like okay. I, need to, I have to think about what I'm going to do. Like Sunday, there's a, a thing for like some, uh, like a Christmas party, but it's like, I'm going to be mm-hmm. home because you're not home. It's like, you want to be, you need to be home with your kid. Mm-hmm. You need to be see your kids. So well, that's it. Yeah. You can't be out like a single guy. Right. You know? Yeah. You can't or even with die, like, uh, you know what I mean? Because I die, <laughs> then like he's not gonna have a dad. Don't right? die. Yeah, you can't die. Yeah, yeah. Or, or that would be dad's probably gonna terrible. suck. You know what I mean? Like, mm, so yeah. don't die. So now when I drive, I have to be more think about how I drive and things mm. like that. Fentanyl, whatever. <laughs> like allegedly, I don't do anything, but allegedly, just, uh, blah, 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 fentanyl, and it's like, all right, I guess I won't do cocaine. <laughs> you know. Maybe I shouldn't tell the story. We have, we okay, have like so a, my dad, well, okay. I'm say, my It'll dad had cancer, uh-huh. and so, um, like, I had to put the fentanyl patches on him, right, like, for pain. Mm-hmm. Do you have any and left? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had to give them back. Um, <laughs> they do. They count, and, or you're supposed to write it down. Mm-hmm. But it's bizarre because I didn't realize how powerful it was, so I, like, I put a, a patch on him, right, and mm-hmm. I think he, I had it change it out every day or whatever. Well, I would just like leave it on him and put another one, you know, like, I don't know. And then the nurse is like, no, you got to take the old one out because it still might have residue and then stick the next one on. And then I was always wondering, I'm like, what would it feel like if I put it on me? Like, I didn't think like, thank God I never did because I probably would have died. Because I think if you have pain, like, I don't understand how pain and drugs work. Like if you have pain and you have, and you put the patch of fentanyl, somebody told me that like the pain absorbs the, like, the fentanyl absorbs the pain, right? But if you don't have pain and you do the patch, then you can overdose. Where do you get Is these patches? True? Let's try this out next week at the Lobo Done <laughs> Podcast Somebody Live. Somebody has to be on hospice. On hospice. Yeah, uh, like you have to have like, yeah, you know. This will be out in January. Which, do you have any plugs? We're going to change the subject so that we're like. We're out of time. Oh, we are out of time. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I didn't even get to Brett Ernst's story. But anyway, um, yeah, he's coming April 8th to Hobart Art Theater. Then I have four then. shows February 4th. And May 6th right now at Hobart Art. Um, Anthony Bonazzo is headlining February 4th. He has um, a new special out. He's on the local den. Yes. North side, south side, right? I think it's... He's Italian, the right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Hey. Um, what else? Uh, follow me at Talkative Chick Comedy on Instagram. Um, I have Talkative Chick Podcast on YouTube. I did, um, I'll be out in the next few months, something. What is? My episode. Oh. This one? Oh, yeah. No, oh, with my. you. I did, I did your podcast. Yeah, I am so sorry. I've filmed a lot. I have Ten a lot banged. Ago. So <laughs> there's like six. That was so mean. There's like six episodes on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It will not be 10 years. It'll be okay. sooner than that. But yeah, I just have to um, figure out how to edit quicker. That's all. But yeah. Um, but yeah. So Brett Ernst did these Instagram lives during the pandemic, and I thought it was so great. And that's how I would talk to him a little bit more. So, yeah. Well, now he's Not that he's my best friend, but he's doing my show. <laughs> like, I, I messaged him and stuff. Brad Ernst. Uh, this is, what do I mean, uh, Lobodem Podcast on Instagram. I release TikToks, I guess. But I release a TikTok and I delete the app. But I put him up there. Uh, I have a Patreon. Oh, there's a new Patreon. Shout out to the new Patreon. Oh, I'm going to forgot his name. Was it Winkler or something like that? But shout out. Um, yeah, join the Patreon. Supports the podcast because all the pod, all the uh, all the content episodes are free. So if you join the Patreon, if you don't listen, three bucks a month, it's a way to support the podcast. And I don't do drugs anymore, so you're not supporting that habit. But everything goes into the podcast. And I have gear, too, that I sit there and I don't put on anything that's just sitting there. So if you want it, there's hats, there's other stuff I have, just let me know. Uh, when this comes out, let's see. Tito... Tito sh- my, probably might beat me at the roast battle. Uh, it'll be definitely better than Gabe's <laughs> roast battle. <laughs> at least your when, microphone will be on. It'll be on. <laughs> it'll I work. won't. Uh, <laughs> I won't fucking. Uh, um, I did. I bought Gabe a drink afterwards, and then we had sex oh. in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> he's spy, like a good right? ro- like a good Isn't roast he? battle. Is he uh, uh, anamorph? No. Is he? Is it called anamorph? When, pa- pansexual, not anamorph. Um, um, and then uh, I'll get Oscar on here. <laughs> but if Oscar does my podcast, he has to be sober, or I'll kick him out. He can start drinking once he's on, but he has to show up sober. I'll um, bring a drug. I'll bring a breath. Was he drunk on. somewhere? Yeah, the Rose Battle podcast. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Recorded here oh, with Justin goodness. at Glyph Studios. Oh, so you were a witness to the drunkenness? Yeah. <laughs> I am sober. I drank water. <laughs> um, right, yeah. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Lobo Dan.